Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today, well, today uh, is going to be, I guess, the first of the next WSET vlogs. I'm driving out to Fredericksburg, Texas, in order to go to my first tasting class as part of this hybrid course. So stay tuned, let's see what happens. So normally I like to record some of like the travels type stuff when I'm vlogging so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, I'm not doing that this episode and here's why. The weather outside is crap. Total crap. All right, so I made it to Fredericksburg and now I am walking to lunch because I make it a habit that every time I visit Fredericksburg, I eat at the Fredericksburg Brewing Company. So yeah, I'm trying to get some sausage, some sauerkraut, kind of load up on that fat because I'm gonna be tasting wine for the next four hours and I need to be prepared. I just finished that meal. Yeah, there's nothing left. I, I don't regret a single bit of it, but I don't think I need to eat for the rest of the day either. So uh, I got that going for me. All right, so I'm here. I'm at the Texas Tech Annex out in Fredericksburg, and this is where we're gonna be doing our class today. Um, I really don't know what to expect. They sent out some material. I've covered as much of it as I could in the time I had. But I'm hoping it's kind of like the last one where we get to sit around, get to learn some really cool stuff. And on top of that, we get to taste some really unique wines. So uh, let's get to class. So end of day one in class, uh, it was a four hour class. We tasted, uh, I wanna say probably close to 15 wines. A lot, a lot of Riesling today. A lot of Riesling, a little bit of reds. Uh, there was a 1999 Chilean that was just amazing. It was a Chilean red blend, so good. Uh, I would probably say the next up after that was uh, this really good 2005 Riesling that we had. I mean, just, so good. Third would, would probably, uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna say it was the 2007 Riesling after that. I mean, we just we just had such a great time today. I have eight people in my class, so it's a much smaller class than the 20 something that I had in my W set two. Um, but everybody everybody is pretty sharp. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy about that. All right, so if I add anything else here, it's gonna be uh, at home because at the moment I'm driving and I really don't want to take my eyes off the road too long or think about too hard anything other than driving like all my other coursework and it's about to get really dark. So let's go ahead and just skip to me being at my desk and we'll wrap this up for tonight. All right, so it's end of, I'm, I'm back at home finally. It's, it's, it's been a long drive. And on top of that, the weather got even worse. So I was driving with like no visibility down backcountry roads from Fredericksburg trying to get to San Antonio. Um, overall, I had a great day though. I mean, I got to go out to the hill country, which I always love doing, always puts me in a good mood. I got to go eat at Fredericksburg Brewing, which gosh, so much goodness. And then I got to go drink wine for over four hours. I mean, what's, well not drink, taste. I got to taste wine, which was a little bit disappointing. So I stopped by Alexander Vineyards on the way out. But I mean, overall, it was it was a good day. It, it, it's hard to kind of find something wrong with it. Um, I am exhausted. I have so much going through my brain right now. One of the things I've going through my head right now is, am I gonna pass the theory examination? 
I went through a lot. I felt like I put enough down. And then after hearing our teacher's answer, uh, I was like halfway there. Like I did not put enough down. I got a lot to go. And then I'm even worried about taking to the next step, which is am I putting enough down when I get to the regions and all this other stuff? So now I'm worried about the multiple choice. I'm not worried about the tasting. The, my, my, my palate seems to be really well calibrated with our teachers. Like if I said it was medium minus, she might say it was like medium or like I was very close. And there were even times where she was like, yeah, if I was actually like grading this, I would give it either dry or off dry. And I said it was dry. So <sighs> oh, sorry, like I said, very tired. It's been a long day. Um, so I feel like I feel like class one worked out. I don't know exactly how class two will go. It gets a lot more complicated going into class two, and I feel like it's going to kind of exponentially scale on each one. But I had fun today, so that's that's a good thing. And I'll just continue to study in the meantime. And so, <laughs> sorry, my dog is walking to my desk. Um, I'll just continue to study in the meantime. And yeah, well, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you like today's vlog, please like, subscribe, and comment. Are you going through the WSET Level 3? I'd be interested to know if you are. Leave a comment below. Or if you're going through another certification, let me know. And I will see you all again soon with the next episode of my WSET vlog. I will see you all again soon. Stop pacing, dog. Oh, my gosh. Seriously.